I usually film my intro like a thousand times, so be prepared. Welcome back to my channel, guys. My name is Natasha. If it is your first time here, today's video, I'm going to be doing a completely unedited get ready with me. The only like weird pauses of anything is going to be if I need to push pause on my camera to get re-rolling, you know what I mean? Because it only lets you record for like 30 minutes and then you got to hit record again. Hopefully it doesn't take longer than 30 minutes. The look I'm doing today is my super quick, easy, glowy, bronzy summer look. This is the look that I've been doing like almost every single day. I just kind of switch up the lip and I switch up the eyes just like a tiny bit depending on how I'm feeling, what I'm wearing. Super easy, lots of creams, quite a few products actually, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> um, so, I'm already feeling weird knowing that I can't do any edits. The one thing I'm like mainly worried about is, you've probably heard me complain about this before, there is a business that's like right behind my house and it's like a, I think it's a metal fabrication business, I don't really know what it is, it's some sort of construction and they're loud as fuck. So, some days it'll be quiet the whole time I'm filming. And sometimes during my filming, I have to like stop for like 30 minutes because they're doing something outside. I don't know what it is, but it's loud. I'm rambling right now. Um, let's just go ahead and get started. Like I said, zero edits at all in this video. So first thing I am going to do is my brows and I'm going to use this focus milk makeup kush fiber brow gel in the shade dutch i love this stuff it's amazing if you want just like a quick bushy brow which is perfect for summer because it's hot i'm sweaty i don't got time to have like a full brow on you know i just want like a quick coated brow did you hear my stomach just rumbling Usually I get to edit out all of my, you know, sneezing and coughing and stomach rumbling. I didn't come up with this video idea. I've seen a bunch of people do this. Most recently, I think James Charles just put out a video doing this. Kristen Dominique has done a few videos like this. But I just thought it was, like, so fun and interesting. And also, it's like, I get to be lazy because I don't have to edit this video. I can just put it up. <laughs> So I like to do like one to two coats of this all over my brow. You can see that it gets like a little messy in some spots, but once it dries, it's very similar to mascara in the fact that you can just take a Q-tip and that'll kind of just like flake away. Yeah, look how much more bold and full this brow is compared to this brow just from like one dunk and one coat. I feel like I need to be like talking the whole entire time because it'll be boring and like the weird silent moments that I usually just like fast forward and put music over. But sometimes like, you know, I gotta concentrate. I can't talk and do everything. Got a little messy up in there. So I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll clean up the little messy areas. I should pull out my Q tips actually. I'm so unprepared right now. Oh, come on. 
gonna do me like that? Really? Are you kidding me? Plastic on plastic? How extremely wasteful. I'm just gonna go in with the Q-tip. And you can see that really picks everything up nicely. Cleans it up. Cute. Okay. Moving on to primer. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I don't know what it is about this. It's just like I have so many primers and I use this one like 99% of the time. I just love that it makes my skin look so glowy and like sweaty almost. I think because my skin is so dry when I look in the mirror and it looks sweaty. I'm like, ooh, I look so like moisturized and luminous. But like my best friend, she has really oily skin. So we're literally the exact opposite. What have you guys been up to on quarantine during COVID with everything, you know? Last night, I just finished watching uh, the Dark Knight trilogy. So, like, the Batman movies, the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. I'm a huge, huge superhero fan. Um, I love superhero movies, DC, Marvel, all of it. Just I just straight up just love superheroes. Um... And so we were rewatching. I have this thing where, like, I can rewatch the same movie a hundred times, and I still, like, kind of forget what happens when I'm watching it. Like, I have seen the Dark Knight trilogy movies a million times, and last night we were watching The Dark Knight Rises, which is the third and final installment. And the whole time, every plot twist, I kept being like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh yeah, that happens. So it's almost like I'm rewatching the movie for the first time every time. Pretty cool for me, I feel like. Next, I'm going to take the Fenty Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer in the shade Butter Biscuit. I have, like, not been able to stop using this stuff. Clearly, it looks disgustingly dirty. And I'm taking a e.l.f. domed stippling brush. I don't like to do foundation with this because, one, I'm trying to be quick. And two, like, when it's really hot, I don't really like wearing foundation as much because I feel like it just, like melts off of my face and makes my face feel kind of heavy and also like even the best foundation in the world when your face gets hot and stuff just starts like sliding around or whatever it gets like creasy and weird and I would rather not deal with that so I don't I'm really excited for the new season of Umbrella Academy to come out this month. I love that show. It's uh, on Netflix. It's a show that's based off of the comic book series of the Umbrella Academy. So it's kind of like a superhero-y show, I feel like. Um, and it was created by Gerard Way, who is the lead singer of My Chemical Romance, if you didn't know. <laughs> um, and I love My Chemical Romance. I love Gerard Way. I love the show Umbrella Academy. Me and Spencer have rewatched the first season probably two or three times throughout the whole, you know, and the second season comes out this month and we are very excited because the first season ended on like a really cool kind of like cliffhanger. You know what else I'm excited for the next season to come out of? Haunting of Hill House. That show scared me so bad. I wasn't really expecting it to be that scary. Like usually with like horror TV shows, they're like scary, but they're not that scary because it's like a TV show, you know? Um, Haunting of Hill House was terrifying. It was so good. There was multiple times where I was like, Ugh, actually like really scared. And I just found the story to be like really good and interesting and like not too corny. Sometimes with scary movies, like it'll have like good jump scares or whatever, but like the story is like corny and doesn't make any sense. And it just kind of like ruins it a little bit. And I love scary movies and Spencer, my husband, like he likes scary movies not as much as I do, I don't think. So he also really, really liked this show. And I'm like, okay, that's how I know it's like 
pretty good because if he really likes it, then it must be really good. What's this? I just watched a scary movie recently. Man, it's like a super popular one too. Like everyone thinks it's like the best scary movie ever. Aw oh, man, what's it called? Of course, I am just like running a complete blank right now. I don't want to go on my phone and search it. So I like just doing like a basic, you can kind of see here, all over bronze of the skin with this. And let's move on and do some concealer. Going in with the Kosas Revealer Concealer. This has just like quickly become my favorite everyday concealer. And I'm just kind of concealing the whole face. I like to do these lines right here because it kind of cleans up the bronzer area and it evens out my skin tone down here. This is literally the makeup look I've been doing for everything. Like if I'm going out on, you know, just to like visit family or friends or if I just want to like throw makeup on real quick. This is like the perfect quick makeup. Not that I've really been going out that much. We've really been staying in. But like for instance we just went for Father's Day. We went and visited Spencer's family. So we went out of town for that. And this is exactly what I put on. Just quick. Makes me feel good. Type of makeup look you know. I'm sweaty right now. One thing you don't think of until you actually do it is how hot it is sitting in front of these lights. Like it is like they let off some heat man. And then especially when it's already hot out. You know I have to like turn the air conditioning and everything off or otherwise my microphone will like pick up all of the background noise. And so it just gets real hot in here real quick. Okay, and then let's hit the under eyes. I've been liking using this ColourPop F5 brush to blend out my under eye concealer. The only thing though is I feel like it really holds a lot of products so I usually have to kind of like wipe it off before I use it. Take a tiny bit of that onto the eyelid. Cute. That might have been way too much. And so I haven't really been doing much. I got a new plant yesterday. We went to the grocery store and the grocery store we go to, like, they usually have a lot of plants for sale. Uh, I don't know if all grocery stores are like that, but this one has like a lot of just like house plants, you know? And we got this plant, it's called the, I would normally like insert a picture on the screen here so you can see what it looks like, but no edits. Uh, so it's a, it's called the Swiss cheese plant. So it looks like kind of like a philodendron, like a hanging vine plant, but all of the leaves have a bunch of holes in it, like naturally, like not from pest or something. Swiss cheese plant. I mean, that's why it's called that because it looks like Swiss cheese. And it's super cool. I actually have never seen a plant like that before until yesterday. And I snatched it up real quick. So we have a new plant in my plant family. I am planning on doing a video where I 
talk about all my indoor plants and then I talk about all my outdoor plants, but I haven't got there yet. I'm going to use just a little bit of this Essence Brightening Up Banana Powder under my eyes with this ColourPop F5 brush, the same one I used to blend out the concealer. And just a tiny bit. And then let's hit the eyelids too, might as well. And the forehead. This is something I go back and forth on. Sometimes I use powder, some days I don't. It just depends on how I'm feeling in the moment, I guess. Okay, what is next? Let's do some powder bronzer. I am going to go in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Best bronzer at the drugstore. <sighs> Smells so good. And they extended their shade range. When they first came out with this, they had one just in the shade bronzer, which is the shade of this. And now they have like six or seven of them, I think, which still probably isn't enough, but I'm glad that they definitely worked on making a bigger shade range. I have my hair in this like braid right now because I'm hoping that it will put some wave in it. It's super dirty. I know you've been hearing me say that a lot. I'm washing it tomorrow because I'm doing this video. Let me show you where I'm using this uh, Revlon volumizing hair dryer blowout tool. Um, I've never been able to blow out my hair myself and so I feel like this tool will help me. I'm kind of like a novice, like I suck at doing my hair so that's going to be a video of me seeing if I can accomplish doing my hair or not with that tool. So we'll see tomorrow when I film with it. I'm just doing... I say light bronze, but honestly I go like pretty heavy with the bronzer every day. I don't even care if I have a bronzer helmet. I like the way it looks. Remember in like, well middle school for me, probably not middle school for a lot of middle schoolers now, but bronzer, like it wasn't a thing that you put like, you know, in a perfect three on your face to contour. Like bronzer was used as like face powder basically like you would put bronzer everywhere to make yourself like look tan or something like I don't even know but I definitely was guilty of like I would just take my bronzer and just all over my whole entire face and I can't even imagine doing that now and I used to use um what was it it was like the what was the brand NYC maybe it was like the NYC bronzer it came in like a huge round thing and it was super orange it didn't even look good and I would put it all over my face because that's how I thought bronzer was supposed to be worn and that's how everyone thought bronzer was supposed to be worn I feel like back in the day now it's like all middle schoolers looking fly because of social media they know how to like do their makeup and dress no one has an awkward phase anymore isn't that weird that, like, no one really has an awkward face anymore, I feel like? Is this not enough? Yeah, that's cute. I'm actually going to take a tiny bit of this Flower Beauty Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer. I broke the lid off of it. I really, really have been liking this lately on this Japanese brush and just lightly putting that right over where I just bronzed everything. It's just going to add a little bit of glow. Pretty. And then I'm actually going to take that same flower bronzer and then a Sephora. What is this? This is the Sephora Pro Blending Brush. It's very similar to like a MAC 217. I say that with like all my brushes clearly because that's like my favorite brush. And I'm just going to dig right in there. Pat off the extra extracts, the extra. What the hell is going on here? And put that literally just all over my eyelid. Not even really like being really precise with it. Like I just want it all over to give like an all over kind of bronzy look. I feel like this really pulls together the face and it helps like make you look a little bit more put together than you are and when you're like quickly getting ready throwing a little bit of your bronzer 
and your blush. I'm going to throw a little bit of my brush, my blush on my eyes too. Really helps with the look. Yeah, I don't need to do more than that. That's perfect. And then I'll actually take a little bit on this pencil brush. This is a Morphe M321. And I will run that lightly just right under the lash line. Just to give a tiny bit of color. How's my time going? Good. And that's it. Come my eyes always water when I get my lower lash line. All right, moving on to blush. I'm going to do a cream blush and cover that with a powder. I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. cream blush palette. And I'm going to take this top shade right here, which is like a peachy bronzy shade. It's almost like, no, it's definitely a blush. I don't think it could be used as a bronzer. And I'm going to tap right into the one next to it and put that on my cheeks. That was a little heavy. Whoops. Oh, looks very cute though. I think this e.l.f. Uh, cream blush palette is so bomb and kind of underrated because I don't ever hear anyone talk about it. Maybe I'm just like not watching the people that talk about it, but I was really surprised when I first used this because it kind of looks like a little Vaseline-y. Like it looks like it's not going to be very good. And I think that it's like bomb for a blush palette, especially like cream blushes. Super affordable and you get four different shades in there. Cute. And then I'm going to top that lightly, very lightly with this, uh, let's go in with this actually, the BH Cosmetics Nude Blush 10 Color Palette. And I'm literally just going to run my brush like in these top shades, just back and forth. My mirror. And mainly doing that just to kind of set that cream blush in place and I like bringing it onto my temples and then I'm just gonna go over that with the elf buffing foundation brush just to make sure it has like a nice little blend to it and I like to bring it up honestly kind of high because I don't want that really stark like my concealer and then everything else and then with that same eyeshadow brush Boom, 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 right into those blushes. And then just do the same thing where I put that all over the eye. It just really like kind of ties everything together and gives you that like really pretty monochrome kind of look. I'm going to highlight with this Nabla Skin Glazing Glass Skin Powder. I use this for the first time in my full face of black owned makeup brands and this highlight is bomb I can't stop using it it literally is just like so pretty like glass skin makes sense because it's not like really shimmery it's not really uh, glittery or chunky it's just really nice and pretty Oh yeah, we are glowy today. And if this is like too much glow for you, add more powder, use less creams. My skin's really dry and on top of that I also look like, I want to look like I'm sweaty. So it doesn't really bug me that much. I'm going to go in with that same eyeshadow brush right into this and hit that on the brow bone. Cute. Let's set the face real quick. I'm going to go in with two different sprays. 
First, I'm going to hit it with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, and then I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish. I need to get a new bottle of this Morphe. It's almost out. It's like the best product Morphe has, I think. Honestly, like the only Morphe product I even use. Uh, I do this every time. I always forget to flip my mirror over and then it gets covered in spray and it gets all blurry and gross. And I'm just gonna press that mist in. Let's set my brows. I'm gonna set my brows using my soap for a little soap brow action here. And I'm just gonna mist this with that smash box. That's another thing is I pronounce all my words wrong constantly. And my brain like runs a thousand times faster than my mouth and I get like tongue tied or something and I say everything wrong. Oh my God, this is so, do you see that? So blurry right now, I can hardly even see through it. I was sleeping on the soap brows for a long time. I kind of was like, oh yeah, it's cool. My regular brow gel works just as good, but soap brows are pretty dope. Do my brows look crazy right now? Yeah, kind of. Ugh, useless. I'm going to take a little q-tip just to kind of clean up a little bit. Crazy brows. Okay. My camera is about to stop recording because it's hitting that 30 minute mark. I'm just going to push stop and start on the recording real quick and we're back okay man I almost was able to do like my whole entire face without having to do that what do we have left mascara and lip let's do some mascara I go so back and forth on whether or not I want to ma wear mascara some days I'm just like not even feeling it today I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna go in and curl my lashes with my Weezer Man eyelash curler. And then I'm going to take my Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. This mascara is so amazing. It is a tubing mascara. Works great. Gives me nice, really long, luscious lashes. And I'm about to be really close to my face and really silent for probably like three minutes. So here we go. A lash stuck on this. There we go. Ugh, now it's on my fingers. Ugh. My lower lashes never look good, ever. They are like literally the worst. Let's go ahead and do the other eye. Something is like tickling my face over here and I can't figure out what it is.
I can hear hammering. That business is getting started. Okay, where is the tube? Mascara is on. I love this mascara. I feel like it really like gives me length and volume to my lashes and it's so easy to take off. What do we have left? Lips. That's it. So, let me line my lips. Should have picked out my lip liner beforehand. Mm, here we go. I no, that's not the one I want. Come on. Quality entertainment right now. There we go. I'm going to use this Pat McGrath Labs Permagel Ultra Lip Liner in the shade Buff. I've been really liking this. This is also a product I picked up when I did my full face of all black owned beauty brands. And I'm just going to do a little bit of lining, like slightly overlining, not really. Gee, did you hear my stomach grumble? And I didn't really fill them in all the way. I kind of just rubbed my lips together and they did it for themselves. Ooh, I did not like the way my neck looked right there. Ew, I don't like that. Okay, lips are lined, and I'm going to top that with this guy right here. This is an e.l.f. product. This is the Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Nude Kiss. These are great. I tried these uh, a while ago. I think I was doing a full face of all e.l.f., and that was the first time I tried these, and I love them. They're so comfortable. Should have exfoliated my lips. Like, look how pretty that is. I don't even need to add a gloss. It's like an oil without being too slippy and glidey and messy, but it's also like a gloss without being sticky and weird. Pretty. This look, you can literally interchange with any lip. Yesterday, I wore like a super bold lip with this, like a hot pink lip. You can do a red lip, nude lip, anything you want. That is part of doing this super easy look. Let's look at myself. Cute. Like I said, really quick, really easy, really glowy, kind of bronzy, summery look. Should I take my hair out of this braid? Do you hear my stomach right now? Damn, stomach, calm down. Hmm. It added like the smallest baby wave. Honestly, my hair just needs to be washed. That's, that's all it is. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I completely unedited. Get ready with me. Random. I know kind of weird. Definitely messed up on some of my words. What are you going to do? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I post here every Tuesday and Friday. Thanks again. Let me know how you liked this video in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.